birthday. Hi, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna drink apple cider. It's liquor. Liquor. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Happy Saturday, everyone. Today, we are going downtown to um, downtown Hayward. So I'm going with Daisy. Daisy. Hey. hey. And we're gonna go pick up some groceries and um, mugs and stuff from the Dollar Tree. Here at Lucky's. <laughs> I'm with Daisy. <laughs> and I didn't want to vlog because it's scary to vlog over here. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. I'm Lucky. There's a lot of um. Yeah, it's just like you don't want to bust out your camera over here. I'm supposed to buy groceries for my um, project and I'm looking at butter right now and it's just really expensive. I just want to make cookies in my microwave. <laughs> we just finished shopping, we're gonna head back now and um, I don't know, that wasn't a very successful vlogging day. I just want to show you guys the um, street because it looks really cool. I mean, it's really cool. There's a lot of Mexican eateries and there's a Hayward Fa place. And we're on Mission Street. Wait. This one. Let there be light. Alright, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from. Where did I go? Um, from Lucky's and Dollar Tree. So I have a project that I have to do a speech on microwavable dishes. And I don't know why I chose that subject. I was just thinking like, okay, what is something college students want to know about? And I decided, oh, microwavable dishes are what you can make in the microwave. So I am gonna make Put cookies in a jar and oh, my God. Hey. oh hi Reem. Hi. This is Reem. Hello. Oh. That looks so ugly right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make um, cookies in a mug and mac and cheese, which already they already sell that pre-made, but you know this is healthier and prop. Probably cheaper instead of buying the ready-made packets. Okay, I'm, I'm just taking everything out of the bag right now. Okay, so first off, what I bought. What I bought. Daisy bought honey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first, I bought paper towels because we need paper towels for a dorm. We also need needed some Airwick. I don't know how it smells, but it sounded in, it sounded good. What is it called? Fresh waters. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Then I got some Swiss Miss hot chocolate with marshmallows because who doesn't love hot chocolate? Okay, and then we're going straight into the Okay, wait. The cookies. So I, I'm trying it several different ways. I'm gonna try it with the packets, the ready-made packets with butter, and also some brownie packets with butter. And then I'm gonna try it with just the regular ready-made cookie dough in the jar, which I think would probably gonna work better, but we'll see. I just wanted to try them both so that I can just say what worked better. My presentation. Then I'm also picked up macaroni and a lot of different cheeses to make for my mac and cheese. No, you're good. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna attempt to make macaroni and cheese and chocolate chip cookies in a mug, but I didn't think about getting any. Um, what is it called? What is measuring cups? Yeah. Okay, measuring cups and measuring spoons. So I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna look online like how to measure stuff without a measuring spoon and measuring cup. This could be a whole different speech. <laughs> so I went next door 
look for shot glasses because shot glasses are a certain amount of ounces and like you can measure from that. But then all they didn't have anything. So Alejandro was like, oh, you have, like he was telling his other roommate, oh, you have one of those water bottles that have the measuring things on it. And I was like, oh wait, I have one of those. And he's like, why don't you just use one of those? Like, thanks. So here I, here I, here I am, I'm gonna use my Brita water bottle with the ounces on the side. So that's a good tip if you don't have measuring cups because I'm pretty sure nobody in college has measuring cups. Especially since we're living in a dorm without an oven, which you can't bake in. So I'm gonna use my water bottle that has the ounces on it and just kind of eyeball it from there. So, I don't know, our elbow macaroni. And I'm just gonna kind of imagine it, what it would look like in here because, okay, it says it calls for a half cup and the eight ounce mark is right here, so that's a cup. I'm gonna put it in my mug. My mug. I'm just gonna put a half cup of macaroni. It goes up to my, it goes up to my first one. <laughs> this is gonna turn out so bad. I just know it. And your water. You may want to add more or less water depending on mug size. But there should be more than enough to completely cover your noodles. Okay. Here it goes. Okay, here's what it looks like. It's just in there. Okay. I added a little bit more. And then it says, microwave on high for eight minutes. Pausing at the five and two minute mark to stir and add more water if necessary. Okay. So let's try this. It's overflowing. <laughs> what is this cooking? <laughs> it's microwave cooking. That's normal, I guess. I forgot. I forgot the step that you put in the cheese, but I already put it in, and this is what it looks like. Looks really good. It's hot though. It's kind of, oh, it's like really cheesy. It looks good. Mmm. So that was my downtown Hayward trip. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you real soon. Oh, do you hear that? What is that? And why am I blue? This is really bad lighting. Oh, I see a crow. Look. Ha, ha, ha.